Hey guys, I wanted to give a somber guide that didn't involve playing her like this. So these tips are based on my own experience with her, and this is just how I feel she should be played, but that's always up for debate because Sombra is a tricky hero. So let's get started for my tips on playing Sombra. First, know your ideal targets. Now one of your ideal targets is obvious, which are the low healths. She's just the best at cleaning up anyone your team has weakened due to her passive ability of seeing weakened targets through walls. Another set of ideal targets for her are tanks, believe it or not. Her hack affects all tanks in such a detrimental way that one hack on a tank can help your team wipe the enemy, such as hacking a Reinhardt. And her weapon spread isn't hindered because of the tank's huge hitboxes so her damage is surprisingly good against them. What you need to understand is that your least ideal targets are full health squishies, such as healers and damage dealers. Most of your bullets will just miss and you'll likely lose that fight. Now, there are a few exceptions like Zenyatta, whose character model is big enough for most of your shots to land, but Mercy is a different story and you should stay away unless she's relatively low on health. Hack 1 Health Pack I know some Sombras like to hack every health pack and even the ones that are in the enemy spawns, but I prefer a more aggressive style and saving the hacks for enemies. Now, with her 8 second cooldown on her hack instead of 12, this rule could be bent a bit, but in general I prefer to save hacks for enemies. And the one health pack you do hack should be the one that's easily accessible for your team to use. Don't bother with the big health pack that's too far away for most of your team to get to. Remember, the more they use the actual health packs, the faster you get your EMP. Avoid 1v1s. Now this is a general tip that I give to my team to help with focus fire by avoiding 1v1 situations, but it's especially important with Sombra. Because her time to kill is so slow, you really can't ideally take anyone out fast enough in a 1v1. But she thrives in the chaos. Meaning just helping your team shoot into a crowd with your pistol does wonders. Even if it's from a different angle. Sombra is the queen of getting assists and that's how you should think when trying to take targets out. As large as her spread is, it's actually really easy to land shots so she will finish off low targets even at a distance. Using abilities off cooldown. You don't have to go invisible and set up your translocator just because they are off cooldown. I'll explain in a bit when I go over the playstyles I use for her. But hack I feel should be used off cooldown as much as possible, especially now that the cooldown is only 8 seconds. It's perfectly fine to stay behind the Reinhardt shield and fire into the enemy until an opportunity presents itself and you then, at that point, go into their backlines. Here's a translocator tip. Now this may or may not be obvious. But did you know that you can throw your translocator while you're invisible and not cancel out the invis? Well if you did then good for you. If not then I'm telling you that when I first realized this, this gave me a whole new style of play with Sombra. See typically Sombra players will place the translocator, go invisible, get to the enemy backlines, try to take someone out, then translocate back when in trouble. The issue is they usually wait until the translocator is off cooldown before rinsing and repeating which makes for a real clumsy playstyle. So what I like to do is to first go invisible before setting my translocator. Get to the back lines and throw the translocator to a quick location that I feel is safe for the next few seconds. Then I come out of an invis and start attacking. My goal is to try to last 6 seconds because when I translocate back out I can go invis immediately again then return to my team's back lines safely. With this style you can throw the translocator pretty much anywhere. So that's one way I like to use Sombra. So I'd like to quickly go over a few play styles I like to use with Sombra. The first one I already mentioned. Getting to the back line and setting up your translocator for a quick exit and trying to last at least 6 seconds so you can go invisible again once you teleport out of there and get to proper safety. Since a lot of the times your translocator will not be in the most ideal of spots, but this style allows for you to stay on the enemy backlines for a long time without fully retreating. This other playstyle works well on defense and not only attack, which is to stay behind your team's Reinhardt shield and attack from the front lines like everyone else. 
Then, when someone is low or you see an opportunity, you plan a translocator right in the middle of your team, behind the Reinhardt shield, go invisible, and push onto the target you have chosen. Then quickly teleport back and continue attacking on the front lines. This playstyle has more deliberate invis and translocator usage than just using it off cooldown every time. The last playstyle is similar to the one I just mentioned, but one difference, and that difference goes against what I said earlier about hacking only one health pack, but basically hack all the health packs. This is really only for the defense side, and it will be difficult to get crucial hacks on enemies, but it's still a viable style. Personally, I just like to play a bit more aggressive with her, so I save my hacks for the enemy. So those are my somber tips. Again, because she's such a tricky hero, these tips are up for debate. So do you feel like I missed something or disagree with something I said? I'd love to read your comments. Well, that's all for today, guys. If you enjoyed my video, be sure to share, like, and subscribe to the channel. My name is Chit, and I approve this message.